Hello guys, welcome back to Just Boggy. We're back with this series where we're building a racing arcade one-up cabinet. So this is the donor cabinet. Uh, I don't feel guilty about chopping it up because it was a non-working cabinet. If you'd seen the first video, I'll put a link in the description. Um, you'll see that it was um, a bit busted and bruised up. I brought it on a whim. Possibly wasn't worth it because I should have just cut it out of MDF because the amount of work to make it right I, just, I don't think it's been worth it anyway with that being said I the reason why I did this I went on to Etsy if you don't know it's it's a uh, website where you can sell stuff that you've custom made that kind of thing so um, I like to 3d print is if you've seen my videos before and pretty much I 3d printed a lot of stuff for my other arcade one cabinet one up cabinet and um, that brings me to this so there you go so that's all the bits I'm going to be using I'm sorry about the light there um, what I'm working with I'll pop up on the screen uh, the details this gentleman um, what a lovely gentleman you, um, he, he's just got all the time in the world, bless him. And uh, I'll link a video in my description of his channel. This geezer is a madman. Um, he's 3D printing skills. I could only dream of being anywhere close to him. Um, so he's built the dash and he sells it as a 3D printed file. Um, obviously you have to 3D print. Um, they're all the bits. I 3 printed one put one together that's basically what we're, we're looking like so that is the Daytona dash basically um, this is a mock-up uh, I've been 3d printing like a madman but the one thing I do have to stress if you're gonna do this mod you're gonna have to cut your cabinet up so as long as you don't mind sacrificing your cabinet I'd go for it because there's no way in hell be able to put this back together not standard anyway you'd have to glue some wood back in and a new side art stuff like that so um, it's not an irreversible thing so I just want to put that out there um, the other thing is yep yeah, you go onto his Etsy page buy it it's not that expensive the expensive part really is um, 3d printing um, but it's so worth it the guy He's brilliant. Um, I don't know him personally because I think he lives in the US, but if I've had any problems, he's been bang on it. Um, he also um, if you've got a problem that your 3D printer is too uh, small, um, he has done a few variations. Uh, you got any problems as long as you brought the product from him, as long you know, he'll help you out and I think that is what you want in someone you know he, he believes in it and uh, he, he's also done a few other things as well he even does a seat now I don't think I'm gonna go that far because the seats gonna stick up oh, but it'd be wicked but the seat will stick out quite far that's 3d printed as well as using wood but um, it's on there uh, he's got a coin door mechanism the geezer is a madman but mad respect to him and uh, if you're watching this dude thank you very much for all the help and this is a great product and uh, let's start building it. So in the beginning, let's take the uh, control deck off because we're not going to be using this. Take the J panel off, take the quick panel off. None of them are going to be used anymore. And that's where these bad boys come in. These are templates you get in the kit. One for one side, one for the other. The only thing I would say is, um, I could have done it, but just have it so the 3D printer prints an R and an L, or an L and an R, whatever one goes where, I can't remember. Uh, and he's also cleverly designed holes. I'm not going to be using those, but you'd be drilling them. So when that template's in place, I can't remember where it goes now. There we go. So you'd be drilling them holes, and that's where your uh, other panel goes to stick your steering wheel but because I'm not using Logitech they're in the wrong place for me so um, so 
So that panel would normally be in here. And what you do, you screw those holes and that will position that panel there. Alright buddy. Morning. That will position that panel there so you can put your steering wheel and mount it like that. Again, I'm not going to be doing that because it's in the wrong position for me. And also, I've made a panel like so. I've mounted my, um, I've already sort of done the measurements and I've also cut some holes. What's that look like to you? <laughs> Enough of that. Um, they're going to be my speakers, they're going to be down firing. So um, I've kind of planned it out, but like I say, even though I brought this, it didn't come a note back. Um, and the bottom was rubbish. And some of the back bits on these panels were caved in. So the work I've had to do to make that right, I should have just brought some MDF to be honest with you. Um, because I'm not gonna be using half the stuff it come with. So someone actually paid three and a half hundred quid for this and just treated it like absolute rubbish. Unbelievable. But let's get on with the cutting. So what you'll have to do, dismantle everything because I recommend when cutting this, lay it down on the flat surface and use a duke saw. So uh, we'll be doing that next. So now that the, uh, the panel's off, um, I've just got it on one of those box standard tables. And here is that template. You, you line it up with corner there and the line, uh, straight line there. Those are your three holes. So what he's suggesting is go around the other side when you've cut this out. Drill a hole in that one. And don't go right through with those ones because those those two will be your dowels and that'll be your screw. Like I said, I'm not gonna be doing that because I'm doing something different. But um now that I've got that all uh, taped up, I'm just gonna make a line. Okay, so that's my line. So I'll take that off and uh use a duke saw. Tied it up with a bit of sanding, job done. Uh, and then it'll be on to the next one. Go back if you want to do this mod, because uh, it's a pretty drastic cut. 
But with that one done, on to the next one. Okay, so this is the other side. So um, it's pretty easy to line up, but what I would say, it's not major criticism, is maybe put some arrows where they need to go. But I mean, if you go on his website, not his website, sorry, if you go on his YouTube channel, he shows you how to put this on. Um, but yeah, a little um, probably right, an R, what side it is, and maybe some um, arrows. Ah, that's just my take. Okay, let's cut this out. Okay, so that's the other side done, and like I say, that is why you can't go back. Um, but as you can see, this this artwork's pretty destroyed. New artwork going on anyway, because this won't correspond to the games it will play. So um, that done, now we can start building it again. <laughs> 